Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. A lot of S550 owners are not happy with the clutch engagement feel on their Mustangs. And one of the reasons is the factory clutch spring. It's 185 pound per inch, which is a very stiff spring. The problem is it makes the clutch have a very, very vague feel. Now, a lot of people have removed that spring, which does work. It gives the clutch a much better feel, but it's also a little bit too heavy. And then the pedal gets loose at the top, which can rattle and cause noise. The perfect solution is the Steeda spring. The Steeda clutch assist spring is a 35 pound per inch spring, so it still does what it's supposed to, but gives you a much more realistic feel. To make the spring even better, Steedle offers an upgraded perch, and today we're going to install both on this 2016 Mustang GT. This spring and perch kit is going to fit all 2015 through 2017 Mustangs. Now we sell it as a kit because the factory perch is on the flimsy side, and a lot of times you can damage it removing it, or even crack it when you remove the spring and not realize it and cause damage down the road. Another reason you do want to use a spring and not take the spring out is you actually can cause damage to the slave cylinder because the clutch can be slightly engaged if it's not pushed all the way out. So the perch and spring combination is an excellent choice to make the clutch operate like it's supposed to, but give you a much more consistent feel. Since it was hard to see, we're going to show you in the car as well. This is how the clutch spring sets up with the clutch basically being here. Okay, what you're going to do is get in there with your vice grips, get a grip on the spring, and squeeze down. As soon as you do that, you simply push down on this and pull the whole assembly out of the car. Now the clutch spring is located all the way up here on your clutch pedal. Now this is under the dash, it's going to be hard to see, but the only tool you should need is a pair of needle nose vice grips. What you're going to do is push the clutch down. Then take the vice grips and get them on a spot where you can compress the spring. And then once you compress the spring, you'll see that plastic clip pop out. You sort of want to push down and remove the spring assembly. Here you can see a comparison. Here's our stock pieces here, and here's the Steeda pieces here. Obviously, the spring is the huge difference. This spring is going to be a lot thinner, a lot lighter. It gives you a much more realistic pedal feel. But you can also see the difference in the perch. Look at the size of the top piece here versus the bottom as well. You can see the Steeda piece is a lot beefier than the factory one, much less chance of it breaking. Now, the reassembly process is going to be the exact opposite of what we just did. The nice thing with this, I'm going to push the pedal down again. This you can put in place by hand. Squeeze it down into place. And your installation's finished. Now we can check it out. You can feel with the clutch assist kit from Steeda, the pedal now has, it's still a nice light pedal, but you can feel the engagement point a lot more. Because we still have a spring on there, the pedal stays up like it's supposed to and doesn't have a flat spot at the top like it would if you took the spring off together. This is definitely the best of both worlds for great clutch feel and a much better engagement overall. The clutch pedal assist kit from Steeda is pretty easy to install and will give the car a much better overall feel. The only tool required is going to be a set of needle nose vice grips. It'll take you about 15 minutes to be back on the road in no time.